Hi, we have Mr. Sanjay Malik, who is a uh, country head for Nokia India. Where do you see this market heading in the uh, next 24 months? I think the uh, India market is going through a phase shift at the moment. Right. And I purposely called it as a phase shift rather than a disruption. Because whatever we have seen, the data growth in the last, uh, last few years, that will still go and grow exponentially. And at the same time, the data requirement, the application requirement for bandwidth, for capacity, right. and for presence all over, that will that will keep on increasing. Right. So with that uh, consumption pattern, uh, we definitely see, number one, the LTE rollout to be covering more and more population and may reach up to 95% of the population. Uh, then at the same time, we would be moving from 4G to 4.5G, 4.9G, and building India for 5G. Right. At the same time, I would say that all the right stepping stones will be put in for enabling IoT in India. Right. Right. And that would be, again, a next big wave which will happen in the Indian market. Right. Right. So I would say 4G rollout, then at the same time preparing for 5G and enabling uh, the whole technology ecosystem for IoT. How prepared Nokia is to actually capture the growth which is there in the market? Nokia has done very well in, uh, in capturing, the, capturing the 4G market in India over the last couple of years. And at the same time, if you see around, what we are showcasing is actually that how do we take the current networks and current technology into the future. So things like again, if you if you have uh, gone around on the on, on the stall, you would see that how we are demoing one GPPS kind of networks, the massive MIMO, and moving towards 4.9G technology and 5G technology. And that's not only the radio system and only the equipment system because there is larger network, the cloudification which you have to prepare along with it, which is which we are very firmly in place. In fact, uh, if, if you look at that, the voice moving towards Volti, then Nokia is number one in the global Volti market. Uh, at the same time, uh, on the second part of enabling for IoT, again, it requires all the number one, connectivity, number two, the analytics, number two, the big data, uh, performance issues so those are again a second set of solutions which which we have prepared sure, sure. and third cloudification is a next wave which is coming and again Nokia has the industry leading solution for for cloud cloudification overall I would say as of now because of all this phase shift which is happening you require end-to-end -end portfolio it's not only one piece of it which will make it happen you require the complete XOL, you require uh, uh, on, on the core side. So Nokia is very well positioned in providing that end-to-end -end portfolio. I would say the most extensive portfolio in the market. You, you, you briefly touched upon a voice over LTE technology. You are working with almost all the Volte operators in India. So how do you see the uptake of Volte technology? Where do you see this technology growing in India? I would say tremendous growth on this uh, uh, on, on the Volte technology. One, I think from India perspective on next for next 24 months, uh, there has to be coexistence of the old technology and the new technology. So on Volte, I think it, it's one of the definitely a future technology which is there. Uptake till now has been pretty good. And uh, we see that Volte would be taking the voice load from the 2G technology in sub one gigahertz band to the Volte so that then the spectrum which was getting used for 2G can be reformed into, into the new technology in LTE. And again, the handset penetration is uh, growing at a quite quite good pace. I would say in the next two years, it, will, it would be at a reasonable price and good penetration. So with that, I do see a very good shift happening to the, to the Volte in the voice market and then freeing up the other spectrum for the data market. What are your key focus areas for, for uh, the company? I would say number one focus area is 
to prepare India for 5G right. and IoT. Sure. Now that, yes, it's a simple statement, but at the same time, a lot goes behind it. In terms of, number one, bringing that technology here. Number two, uh, looking at the use cases which are more relevant to India. Uh, and uh, number three, at the same time, building the ecosystem around it. So one of the focus area definitely is to build, uh, build for, for the new technology and then that includes upgrading the transport network also because with all so many uh, devices which would be connected and uh, with so much of data growth, even the backhaul also has to be sufficient. The foundation to, has to be strong. Foundation has to be strong. So on the transport, again, upgrading the and modernizing the networks which are there. So that would be one focus area. Second is, again, on enabling the IoT and going towards the sensor and the devices side. So there again, we are, uh, we are playing a very important role uh, along with some of the device partners, application partners to really look at that how do we have the interfaces for the devices which are more relevant to India. Right. Third, again, as I said, on the cloudification side, and uh, whether it is Volti, whether it is EPC, whether it is uh, uh, it's the core, all, all this has to be moved to the cloudification because that provides the efficiency also and at the same time makes it more reliable. And uh, last but not the least, which uh, the, one of the market which I like, is that how do we grow beyond our CSP area? So going beyond the, the, the telcos, and having uh, having our market share in the enterprise segment. Is Nokia working with telecom operators on in the same massive MIMO deployment? I think uh, moving to 5G is a shift, shift of the technology, but we have to gradually move from 4G to 5G. It is again the same repetition of whatever we had from 2G to 3G. So we had something called 2.5G. So in that, there are again a couple of enablers which are coming which increases the capacity, increases the bandwidth. So things like, again, career aggregation, both in FD and TD, that would, that would increase the capacity. Then Massive MIMO, definitely a new technology, which, uh, which uh, we are, again, playing very strong in that. And so these would be the steps to take from 4G to 5G, and that's what we call it as 4.5, 4.9G. So are talks on with Indian Telecom operators? Yeah, it's, it's happening with all the, all the telecom operators and uh, uh, discussions also, and yes, some of the deployments also are happening with the telecom. So how aggressive they are, telecom operators in India? Most of the telecom operators very well know, and it's a, again a clean fact that in some of the CBD kind of area, you would need high capacity. So whatever solutions, whether it is small cells, whether it is uh, TDLT, or whether it is Messi MIMO, those would be required, and it would require depending upon the consumption pattern in that. So everyone is uh, definitely very well engaged on, on these technologies. And if you are asking me what happens in the next 24 months, that's what is going to happen in the next 24 months. Any concluding remark you want to make on the Indian telecom market? For the last two decades, we have really done well in, in uh, bringing India to the global map. So initially, we changed voice to mobile. Then we change data to mobile, uh, and I think now it is time to really uh, use this technology, go through a next evolution phase to really help the human lives. So at this moment, if you look at the applications which are there on data, 70% of those are still video, which is good, which has changed, changed the, uh, the way people live. It has improved the productivity also. But at the same time, now we have to go through a second level of, or next level of convergence in which we move to help the human lives 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion, much more than whatever we are doing now. And from that perspective, I think telecom market will also go through this, the phase of convergence. And I would, be, I would say it is a very, very exciting time. There would be always challenges here and there, but very exciting time for uh, the telecom market in India.